Lydia Thorpe is facing backlash this morning after the controversial independent senator interrupted the King's speech. Senator Thorpe made her opinion of the monarch very clear as he addressed Parliament House yesterday afternoon. Despite the outburst, the King voiced his enduring affection for Australia before touching back down in Sydney, where he will today prepare for his final full day in Australia. For more, let's bring in Opposition Leader Peter Dutton. Good morning to you. You morning. were in the chamber during the King's speech and, of course, when Senator Thorpe had that outburst. What was your reaction? Look, my reaction was that uh, here we go again. It's entirely predictable, all about herself. It doesn't advance any cause that she's interested in. It's really just a self-promotion thing, which is why I don't think we should give it any attention. Unfortunately, it overshadowed what I think has been a very successful visit so far. And I think it was disrespectful and most Australians dismiss it on that basis. It was loud um, and kind of abusive. If the colony was one of the things that was said, should she resign? I, I think there's... Uh, a very strong argument for somebody who doesn't believe in the system but's willing to take quarter of a million dollars a year from the system to resign in principle. And if you were really truly about your cause and not just about yourself, then I think that's a decision that you would make. You met with the King afterwards. I did. What yeah. was your chat like? I had uh, well, it's, uh, it was an honour to meet him first. Uh, uh, I'd met him uh, previously in Brisbane, but he was very relaxed actually, and uh, I found him um, to be very easy to engage with. Uh, it was only a brief meeting, but uh, yeah, it was a good opportunity. Strong crowds and people of all ages meeting yes. both of them that we've seen so far. Do you think this will put the Republic debate on the back burner for a while? Well, the PM's pulled it uh, from the agenda. There was a Minister for the Republic and now the Prime Minister's uh, taken that title away. So it's obviously not a priority for the government. And uh, I mean, some of the points we made yesterday, which again were overshadowed by the silliness of, of Lydia Thorpe, but... Uh, you know, our, our system of government, our democracy, our rule of law has all been inherited from our British background and we've got a fantastic Indigenous heritage, we've got a great multicultural story, but we don't spend enough time talking about the institutions and the way in which our country was set up uh, and that we've benefited from the monarchy and the stability of it. So whether it's through war or peace, we have always survived, we haven't had civil wars, and in large part, I think that's because of the, the stability and the independence of uh, the, the monarchy and, and the involvement in our system. Mm. Let's talk about your $5 billion housing plan. Obviously, a little bit of criticism about uh, where the money's going and how it's going to be spent. Could you explain to us who's actually going to get that money? So it's really targeted at uh, greenfield developments, Nat. So we want uh, to establish more supply in the housing market. And every economist says that's what we need. Mm -hmm. We've had huge migration numbers over recent years. And young Australians just feel locked out of the market. So how can we create an opportunity for them? By talking to some of the councils, and we've talked to literally hundreds across the country, a lot of them say consistently, look, we would go ahead with that 500 lot development, but we just don't have the balance sheet. We can't afford to pay for the sewerage upgrade or the water upgrade. Sydney Water's got capacity constraints and if we could get that extra road built, the connection road, we would open up that new estate mm. and that's going to allow us to let leverage into 500,000 new homes and uh, I think that will help um, part of the housing problem and there's more that we'll have to say on it uh, over the coming months as well. Okay, Peter Dutton, thank you for your time. Pleasure, Nat, thank you. Here's Sherbo.